Although the green and pleasant Cheshire Plain is by definition relatively flat, it did still test George Buck, who engineered the Manchester and Birmingham Railway in the early 1840s. Between Crewe and Cheadle Hume, two topographical challenges were overcome by the construction of Holmes Chapel and Piva Viaducts, both now Grade II listed and substantial additions to the landscape. Today those structures form part of the West Coast Main Line, but as progress is made with a £17 million investment, the section crossing them has been closed for 11 days to install new drainage systems. The original ones had failed, causing track quality issues and numerous brickwork defects which are undergoing repair. That process is time consuming, with 68,000 bricks to replace. So where we've got perished or damaged bricks, we will do what we call recasing. So we basically peel the brickwork layers off and replace them with new bricks. Where it's just a loss of mortar, we effectively just repoint them. We, we grind out the joints between them and we place uh, new mortar to today's standards in there. Where we've got structural cracks, um, we do crack stitching. So we will drill um, strategically either side of the, uh, the, the crack and install some stainless steel uh, bars, which we grout in with an epoxy resin and that holds that crack together. Whilst all that will help to maintain the structure's load carrying capacity, getting to the root cause of the defects has involved taking the track off the viaduct, hence the blockade. The cracking is mostly a function of lateral loading into the parapets. This will be relieved as part of the drainage solution. We're putting in precast concrete ballast retention units, tying them together with an in-situ concrete stitch, waterproofing these units, reinstating the ballast in the track, and we're core drilling down between uh, the concrete units and the, the spandrels and providing dam pipes for a new outlet for the water to, um, to find its way to ground now uh, and keeps the water away from the actual brickwork and the barrels. Three miles further north at Piva Viaduct and it's a similar story. This structure is much smaller than the one at Holmes Chapel, 10 spans rather than 23, but it suffers from the same collection of defects, spalled or fractured brickwork as a result of failed drainage. That brings with it track maintenance issues and the potential for train delays. Although it's clearly undesirable on such a strategically important route, the blockade minimises the disruption caused by the works overall by driving efficiency improvements. Had they been done piecemeal, six months worth of weekend possessions would have been needed. It also generates significant cost benefits. £500,000 is being saved and that's purely our compensatory charges to our operators rather than having to come back on repetitive weekends, do 11 days here, 5 days at Piva, a 54 hour weekend to do a bridge reconstruction. Doing it all in one go saves taxpayer money and what that essentially means is we can reinvest that elsewhere on the network. As well as waterproofing the viaducts, two bridge reconstructions, remedial works to an overbridge and a considerable amount of routine maintenance has been progressed during the blockade. It's all about maximising the opportunity. Bubble working is what Network Rail calls it, pulling in jobs from the work bank that would otherwise have required their own closures in the years ahead. And there should be no imminent call for interventions on the viaducts either, with the schemes having a design life of 125 years.